I almost got hit by a car just now. I think I filmed all that. See so if we can play that right here. Come on. Oi, cuidado. So we got home and we were gonna cut open some of that fruit that we bought from the market, but I really wanted to get some drone shots. So one thing that's hard about flying a drone in other countries is knowing where you can fly and where you can't fly, even if you can actually fly in the country at all. For example, the next country that I'm gonna be living in for three months is gonna be Lebanon. I was supposed to have a flight from Sao Paulo to Casablanca, Morocco, Casablanca, Morocco to Beirut the same day. Unfortunately, Royal Air Morocco canceled that flight, scheduled me for another flight the following day, which means I've got about 18 hours in Casablanca. Drones are illegal in Morocco. When I was in Casablanca with Mark for outlandish, they confiscated our drone at immigration. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm walking around Sao Paulo right now trying to find a place where I can fly my drone. Well, I'm proud to say that that was my first time crashing my drone ever. I just clipped the, uh, clipped the propellers on a tree. Wasn't that bad. I don't know if you'll be able to tell when I actually hit the tree. Let's see if I can find it and play it. I don't know if you'll be able to so when I actually hit the tree. As soon as I got the drone off the ground, it said maximum altitude reached. It was only about that high. Flying the drone was a fail, but it's good to know that you can't fly it around this area. So if you guys have any recommendations for best places to fly a drone in and around Sao Paulo, post down in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. We'll try this again. scooters but it's literally pouring down rain let me show you it's literally just raining everywhere what do you think but you know what we're still gonna do it nah I'm almost we're still gonna do it We just got to the park. This is Parque Ibirapuera, it's packed. Uh, it's like 90 degrees outside, and these scooters are called green. They're actually a pretty good way to get around Sao Paulo. And so we're going to take our scooters with us, taking them all around the park. <laughs>
left the park right now. I'm gonna go grab some food. Is it probably a really bad idea? Eh. You gotta try everything once, right? I'm definitely gonna be riding these scooters around Sao Paulo. A whole bunch. Assuming I don't break my leg before then. I'm trying to film and ride at the same time. Wow, I almost just ate it. Whoa! Oh! We're gonna go home and make some espresso and maybe we'll show you guys the beautiful sunset of Sao Paulo.